Hey everyone, today I'm going to be doing a mini haul-ish kind of. Um, I went to Ulta today and bought a couple stuff. Um, they were having like this weird little sale, some things were 50% off and I had to, I probably shouldn't have because it's Christmas and I should be shopping for other people, but I couldn't resist myself. And also, um, my Kylie Jenner, I ordered from Kylie Jenner Cosmetics and my package finally came in, so I thought, well, why not mix the two and get a good haul. So, um... I want to confront the two elephants in the room. Yes, I have shitty ass lighting. Um, I'm, you know, new to this is my first YouTube video, so I kind of need to get, you know, used to it. Because I'm, I don't know still, like, you know, the reaction of the people. I don't want to, like, buy perfect lighting. And it is, what time is it? It's 9.30 at night, so it's like... It's pretty late. I'm using just my regular lamp on, and I mean, I am gonna do like a couple swatches, but it's not gonna be anything crazy. Um, so the lighting is an issue right now. Um, hopefully, in the future, I can film during the day when you know there's natural daylight and I can use that. So, um, that's one. So, I apologize for the ugly yellow lighting that everyone hates. Um, secondly. I'm sick, so I might sound like a dude right now. I may have a raspy voice. I'm getting over a cold. I just, what, it was just kind of cold like this whole week. It's Friday right now, so <sighs> I'm coming from work and just thought I'd, you know, film this little haul. I'm like, why not take advantage of the moment? So I'm sick and I just, I make cough here and there. I just don't want you guys to be like, oh, this girl's gross. She's like, mucus seeping out of every hole in her body. <laughs> so, um, that, and actually there's a third thing. And this, like I mentioned before, this is my first YouTube video. So I might come off a little awkward, a little quirky, a little nervous. I'm just going to take a minute for me to like get used to the camera where to look at so if I'm looking out to the side I have my mirror right here and then um normally even in like reality when I talk to people I'm always looking all over the room I don't know why I just eye contact is a scary thing for me but um yeah I just wanted to just have you guys are like you know that I'm weird and I just kind of just act nervous and you don't think that being genuine I'm trying to be it's just my you know first time in front of a camera and it's 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 an unfamiliar thing so you know gotta get kind of used to it so as of now this is what you get <laughs> um, I'm trying to be as oh shit as good as I can run down of all this messiness you'll see today um so I'll just be sipping on tea right now cuz your girl's sick. I need to repair this throat. So, let's start, shall we? I probably should take everything out of the bag. Um, the first two things that I got are two little basic things. I got <laughs> Real Techniques um, blush brush. If this wants to focus on that or not. It doesn't? Okay. I'm using my phone to record, so how about it? Um, so I got this blush brush, which I've actually been wanting. Um, they actually getting it. Um, so I'm kind of excited that I have it in my possession. It's just this, you know, normal little tapered brush. I used it already on my friend. She bought blush and I was like, oh, let's try on your blush. Um, so it's dirty already with blush, but that's what I was going to use it for anyway. So it's just this, you know, long little pink brush. And it's like a tapered. It's so soft. I love it. And Real Techniques products were actually having a buy one, get one 50% off. So I had to cop me one of these. I got um, just a regular Miracle Complexion Sponge. Although I call all of these, it doesn't matter. A beauty blender. To me, they blend the beauty. That's the universal name. So that's what happened. Ow, it just landed on my lap. 
Um, so I just got one of these. Got one of these because frankly my nose getting kind of old. I walk there's the back. Um, so I got those two things. Okay. That was the deal. And then I got the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. This is what it looks like on the outside. Okay, and then you just open up. It's like a clear case. A little cheap plastic case. This was $3.99, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. My receipt, this was... A fit. Okay, it's like the last thing. $3.50 actually, because I got $0.49 cents off. Three fifty. This was, um, and I hear um, some of my beauty loggers. I can't really name right now because I don't really remember. But I know I heard one of them rave about this, and it was one of my oily girls. And I have oily skin, um, so anything to block that oil. I'm poor, so I wanted to try this. I saw it. I'm like three dollars. Like even if it was four dollars, like. Why not? It's like super cheap. So I got that. And I'm gonna receipt here too so I can talk to you guys and tell you what I got. Next I get <coughs> actually I'm gonna leave those for last because the last things I picked up. Next I got the Rimmel Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel. Um I got this before and I really, you know, liked it. I think it was a pretty good an expensive option for brow gel, clear brow gel, if all you want is for something to keep your eyebrows in place, it keeps my eyebrows in place for me. I like it. I have um, not a lot of eyebrows. I like to shade my eyebrows in a lot um, and then brush them up with this and I just shade them with a the normal pencil, brush them up with this and I like more of the feathery, bushy kind of look to it. So, um, excuse me um so this does it for me and i like it um i have yet to try any of the higher ends so i can't really compare it to that but for now this is this works for me and this is let me tell you how much this is. this is really not that expensive this was 3.94 hell yes that's what i say hell motherfucking yes okay i'll pay for it Next, I got two jumbo sticks. Next jumbo sticks. Right there. I got a white one and a blue one. The white one is called Milk, number 604. And the blue one is called Cobalt, number 627. And they're just regular little jumbo. Um, okay, come off. Jumbo eye pencil. And... Um, these are good to use either all over the lid. You can use it as a primer for all over the lid. Those are both of those swatched. Are those horrible swatches or what? Like, am I horrible at this? Should I just quit while I'm ahead? What about now? That's alright, right? That's alright. <laughs> um, you can use this all over the lid. As a primer, you know, a base, like say you're using a blue color, so you want to use this just so it's not patchy. Um, or a white color or white just to like make the color a little bit brighter, just like they do with paint walls. Um, so yeah, I grabbed these two. These were each. Each, each, each. $2.96. A steal if you ask me. I love next products. I'm all for this. And then I got this. I was in the market. I was actually going the point. Okay, short story. The reason I was going to Ulta was to buy, to repurchase my, you know, Holy Grail foundation, which is the uh, Maybelline Matte, Matte and Poreless Fit Me. Maybelline Fit Me, Matte and Poreless. That's how you say it. Um, so I was going to repurchase that. But I saw this one and I hear a lot of people rave about this. So I'm like, maybe I should try it out. I'm going to try it. I'm going to take the risk. I'm going to do it. It's a little bit more expensive than my um, Fit Me. But I was willing to spend the big bucks for it. Um, it's the <laughs> L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Foundation Infallible Pro Matte. 
like I said before, <coughs> they have a pro glow. But like I said before, I have real oily skin. So nothing glowy for me, nothing strobey for me. Like I want anything that can suck the life of out of the oils in this face of mine. Because I mean, right now I look shiny because of my glow, but because of my highlight. But you know, by this time of the day. I'm like nasty greasy monster so anything to suck that all up I'm your girl bring it to me give it to me I'm sold um and that one was I think that was the most expensive 11 <coughs> excuse me like my mom's ho ho two hoes not three this time so, um, not bad actually. Okay, that's everything I got as I was walking, patrolling around Ulta. Nothing from the high end section. Then they always get you, and they do this all the time. Every time I go to Ulta, and you're waiting in line, it's a long ass line, and they have those little mini travel size things in the middle. Oh, they always get me. They always do, and that's where. I start spending the big bucks. That's where I'm like, take my money. But I went ahead and bought, I had this already. And I love it. I don't know why I just buy, the, I don't just buy the full size. Because I know that I will use it. You know, I know that I like it. I don't know why I won't buy the full size. I just will not do it. But this is the... Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray Long Lasting Oil Oil Free Paraben Free Temperature Control Technology. This one is 15 bucks. Okay, I'll show you the size. Excuse me. It's this little size, so pretty much the size of my hand. It is 1.0 fluid ounces. I don't know how much the bigger one is, but I know the bigger one is 30 bucks, so it's double the size. It might be two point, or it might be more. So you might get, you know, more for your money. But I just cannot bring myself to pay 30 bucks for a setting spray. I just can't. I'm like, this is pretty much water. Like, what are the ingredients in here? Why do I want to pay 30 bucks for it? You know? Let me see. Okay, well, there's hella ingredients. It's not just water, but water is an ingredient. Agua. Water. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. No, you can't see it. Well, it's there. Garbage. But I love this. I love it so much, so. Maybe one day when I'm a big baller, I'll buy the full size, but not today. Not today, boo-boo. Maybe someone buys it for me. Sure. The next thing I bought was kind of excited that I saw this in the little spot there that I'm like, why not? But I was kind of thrown off because I opened it already and I put it on my skin and I was touching. I'm like, this feels pretty oily. It says oily free, but it has like a like a weird texture to it I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to feel or maybe it's not like mixed in properly um, I'm not sure but we will find out because I'm gonna use this on my skin tomorrow when I do my makeup um, and see how it is but I spent $15.99 on this 99 cents more and it's this little Smashbox Smashbox photo finish foundation primer and this is oil free Known grass. I said it in French, I think. <laughs> yeah, so it's for um, oily skin. I mean, not oil skin, I'm sorry. But it's oil free, so it's like, you know, one of those like um, silicone based primers. So I'm excited to see that. I'm kind of iffy, skeptical. I'm kind of, you know, not, not sold yet. But I haven't used it, so I can't knock it until I try it, right? And the last thing I bought from Ulta. I can't believe it's over. I just want this back to never end, right? I thought I've been wanting to try this. 
um i've been wanting to try this because i see it all the time every time i go to ulta and i'm like what is that what is that so i finally you know looked into it and i saw that you know it was a face wash and i read some reviews and there was a lot of you know some bad ones but a lot of good reviews on it so my skin is not very sensitive i have you know very strong tough skin on my face so i can pretty much do anything i don't have acne prone skin either so um i can get away with putting anything on my face and pretty much just wipe it off it might get a little irritated but it never reacts to it with rashes or pimples or anything like that so um i'm I'm always open to trying new face washes. So this is just like a one-step facial cleanser. And I'm kind of excited. And it smells really good. It's the Purity Made Simple um, by Philosophy One-Step Cleanser. So it looks like I bought the little bottle. This bottle has three fluid ounces in it. And it was 11 bucks. So um, I'm kind of excited to try it because... You know, like I said, I've heard good, good reviews on it. So, I like to give my own opinion. Even if I see bad reviews and things, if I'm intrigued, I will buy it. Because not everyone, you know, has the same opinion on things. <coughs> Excuse me. So, that's everything I got from um, Ulta. So, I'm going to put this stuff away and I'll be right back to show you my Kylie stuff. Okay. So, um, we're going to move on to... Kylie Cosmetics um but I wanted to tell you quickly what was on my face because I'm really rude and I didn't tell you um so I use on my eyes I use the Carly Bible palette um and I use that on my eyes my highlight it might be faded already and then for my lips I used the ColourPop color this is a liquid um satin lips in the color Tulip can't see it right but it's like this purple color if it looks probably darker on my lips because everything looks darker on my lips <sighs> okay so i got it in a box like this it's just a plain black box nothing else on it, it says my name <laughs> don't want to tell you that and you open it and it looks like this okay got some little cushion on it and then let's throw that out and we got a card it's a cool little one of those cards that everyone shows and i'm kind of glad that i got that because i kind of want to put it up somewhere and she wrote i couldn't wait to share my new eyeshadows with you i hope you adore them as much as i do i love you and every time she wrote i she wrote the actual word I isn't that adorbs so yep that's what I got I'm kind of good let me put that up with the lipsticks because those are the least exciting of the bunch I mean everything's exciting in here my bureau but the lipstick I just love this box like that's super cool like it says her name like Julep I just really like the box like um, I bought everything on um, closing it. I bought everything on Black Friday where she was having a 20% off of everything. So um, the lipsticks each were 13 bucks. The palettes were each 30 something. I don't remember 30 something um, bucks each. So I jumped at the opportunity. I'm like, first one I got. <clears throat> As for my cousin, and it is like this. This is the packaging, and this is the color Malibu. Malibu. And then if we open it, this is the packaging. It's actually really like I thought it would feel a little bit more plasticky, but it actually feels really nice. You know, it you it feels like good quality. Um, lipstick not um worth 13 bucks that's for sure worth probably more and i'm glad that i got it for that much um so i don't want to really open it and you know mess it up so we're just gonna put that back 
And then the next one I got is from my other cousin. It's called Kristen. So it has the color dripping here with her name on the packaging. And I just love the whole dripping lipstick. It's really freaking cute. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and this is a really pretty color. But it's a really pretty color. Um, and this is Kristen. So I'll put that back and then mine, which I'm so excited. Just want to take it out and put it on my lips. Mine, um, I got the color Ginger. Because I see this color on her lips. And I'm like, oh, um, that is a gorgeous ass effing lip color. I love oranges orangey browns and it's just gorgeous and on her I mean she's a little more fair skin so I know it's gonna look different on me because I'm tan complexion but I just couldn't resist myself so this is what it looks like I'm like, so happy right now I'm like a kid at a candy store this is what it looks like you can probably see it because it fucking sucks here but I'm gonna swatch it I'm gonna smell it too oh it smells like cupcakes, like frosting, like fresh frosting. Oh, it smells so good. So let me swatch. Oh my god. Okay, this is pretty freaking pigmented. Like I'm just doing, and I don't have any even put like it. It's pretty pigmented. So I did a swatch on my hand so you guys can see. This is what it looks like. It's like an orangey brown. And it is gold. gorgeous. Gorgeous. I'm so happy I got this. So, so fucking happy. Okay. Mine. Okay. Now, now that we're done with the lipsticks. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to Z palettes. So they have it um, in these little, like, plastic thingies. Little, like, um, styrofoam thingies. So, I'm going to pull it out of them. I'm torn between two and I don't know which one I want to pick. I want to keep for myself. So, we will see. We will see. Okay. So, this is the Kylie Pressed, Ky Kylie Kai Shadow Pressed Powder Eyeshadow. This is what the packaging looks like. And this is the bronze palette. This is the one I'm not keeping. I know I'm not. So then comes the palette. Compared to my hands, how big the palette is. Same. It has the um, eyeshadows in the bag. <laughs> and then we have the eyeshadows. And I'm just not impressed with this palette. Um, I have a lot of palettes that look like this. So I don't really want another one looks like it. I mean, I have like that orange is to die for though. That orange and this one right here. Maybe these three. I would. Okay, it's a pretty palette. Like, it's, I can do a lot of looks with this palette, but it's just too blah for me, you know? If I'm gonna have one of her palettes, I want one of the awesome ones. I don't know which one yet, but no, it's not this one. It didn't allow me. This is the Burgundy palette, and this one actually doesn't come with the little stickers on it so technically I'm not doing anything wrong right um so sorry this is the packaging now it's rose gold instead of it being um bronze like it was on that one <clears throat> this one rose gold and then the teardrops changed colors as well and then this one's a little put a little bit better still not that great and the pack and this one. oh my god oh my god like can we just can we just like all of this oh my god like that one this one like you have your orange you have your transition colors you have these crease colors to deepen the crease this red is beautiful to bring a pop some lid color oh. i want it so bad and it reminds me a lot of the anastasia beverly hills i mean yeah, the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance Palette, which 
is right available right now in Sephora. And I'm, I'm so tempted to buy it. I don't have it. I'm so tempted to buy it because I really, really want it. I've been wanting it. It went out of stock. And now it's back. I don't know how long it's going to be. And I don't know if I'm going to get it for Christmas. And I don't know if I want to take that risk, you know? Because it, once it's gone, I don't know if it's going to be gone for good. Like, I thought it was gone for good at, last time. So, I don't know. That's why I'm debating if I should keep this one. If I don't get the... <coughs> <coughs> Anastasia really feels... <coughs> I'm sorry. Stupid cough. Um. So, yeah. That's that one. That's what I'm debating on. And then the last but not least is her the holiday 2016 palette um so her packaging looks like this it's all different now it's all silver and then we'll open it it doesn't have the labels in the back then when you pull out the palette oh this is actually cool the palette's all silver like mirror mirror like a mirror she has it back here with uh the names has it signed let's open it ta-da okay i'm actually not impressed i was impressed by the pictures online you know and other people opening the palette but i'm kind of not impressed right now i don't know oh and this one comes with a mirror so you see my phone um hmm don't know if I want to keep it yet. Idea. So we will find out. But um, yeah, that is going to be it. I'm really like in my head right now about these packets. Like I don't know what I'm gonna do. But we will see, right? I think that's gonna be it for this video. I have nothing else to show. You. I wish I did. I wish it was a never-ending haul, but it's not. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's kind of all over the place and I'm coughing and I sound like a dude and things happen. But, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I want to make more videos, maybe some makeup tutorials with better lighting, I promise. And a better sounding girl. I'll sound like a girl. Um, um, some makeup tutorials, maybe using my Kylie products, using other things that I have, like... I really want to do this and I would love for you guys to support me and you know if you like my videos give them a thumbs up if you want to subscribe and see more of this crazy mess go ahead um, I would really appreciate it this is something that I've always wanted to do and I'm kind of just going out there and doing it now you know it, it's I always was waiting for the right time but it's like it's never gonna be the right time I just have to throw myself out there and I know that so this is what I'm doing um so I really do hope you guys like it um stick around and I will try to get a, another video up as soon as possible um it's hard because I work um full time and whatever you guys want to watch I got you girls and boys I got you guys um so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for sticking around for this mess. Um, subscribe to my channel. Like my video. And I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye.